Root beer. I still don't know what that's from. It's been driving me insane all week. What's up, everybody? It is I, Adam Pecora. Welcome to episode 80. Getting old up here. The Elder Statesman uh, Requiem for a Tuesday. Welcome back. How are you? Hope you're feeling good. Got a nice cup of coffee with me right now. Put a little creamer in there. Rather out of character for myself, but I gotta say, kind of like it. You know, you you just get a little little bit of that sweetness. It's like some Starbucks crap. But, you know, they make the sweet stuff. Starbucks is basically a milkshake company. And I like milkshakes, so I like their accessories, but, you know, coffee's coffee. So I don't go to Starbucks, typically. What am I talking about? I don't know. What the fuck? What's up? <clears throat> this is going to be the first mini-sode. If you listened last week, which I know you didn't, because I'm banned still. Don't know what the deal is with that. Still trying to figure that whole Shlemiel, Shlemazel out. But uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing just the 30 burger tonight. Keeping it short and sweet. Uh, recording Monday in the daytime, pre-Bears game, pre-Slaughter Fest. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. I just know I'm probably going to be upset for a big chunk of this evening. I mean, look, the Steelers aren't good, but the Bears just especially aren't good. So, like, when when we're really not good and we play teams that, like, have the ability or, like, at one point were considered good, like, we just show our true selves and just completely collapse. And uh, it's just devastating. I mean, I, I, I can't speak eloquently or with any sense of optimism uh i don't know i wish they would just fire the coach just get rid of him he ruined my podcast by getting me flagged or whatever happened and he's ruined my beloved chicago bears and i don't like it um also You know, hand to God. (laughs) Boy, spoke pretty soon on the Henry Ruggs thing. That guy is a fucking idiot. And, uh, (laughs) you know, whatever, I still buy it. (laughs) But uh, 156 miles an hour. uh, You know, I couldn't even get a car to go that fast. I'll be honest with you. Right what? I think the furthest I've ever gone is maybe like a buck ten. And, uh, you know, it gets unstable after a little bit. Uh, it, it just all around, it's not exactly, I don't know. Yikes. <laughs> Whoops. You know, I will say I've been feeling a bit off my game lately. I think it's due to the fact that I don't really have... a consistent long-term program in my life right now. You know what I mean? I got succession week to week. Loving it. The new one was great, but like, you know, what am I going to say about that? I got nothing. I'm just excited for the next one, you know? Um, I've been slacking on the Wu-Tang show. I got to catch up on that. I mentioned that already, but... It's not as, like, I don't know. It's not as gripping. It's like, I'm interested, but I'll get to it when I get to it. You know what I mean? Like, it's there for me. It's got my back. It's in my back pocket, but it's not exactly like, oh, fuck, the new one's out. Got to get on it first thing, like, you know? And, I mean, Curb is obviously back as well, but. You know, what can you say? What can you say? I'm honestly a little disappointed in the new the new episodes. They have not been that great. There's like moments in all of them. 
So I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm thinking that it's kind of going to be like season nine, which was the first one back after like the long, long hiatus. And that started off pretty slow. But then once it got rolling, it was, gr- it was you know, a, another great season. Uh, last season, I thought was phenomenal from the jump. I loved <clears throat> I loved every episode of it. And I like that they're playing with the lengths now. And it's just like however long he fucking feels like it. And, uh, yeah, there's, like, interesting new wrinkles of stuff that happens where, like, people are just, like, more arrogant, which is, I find funny. Um, like, like, I remember last season, like, Larry just, like, smacking shit out of people's hands and stuff in the first episode, and, like, Jeff today is just, like, grabbing food, you know, whatever. And I like that they're just, like, ripping apart Netflix and Hulu. And I was I, I thought that all of that was very strange. Like, how did they get the deal for this? Is this approved? Like, what, what's going on here? Um, I don't know. It's interesting. But I can't sink my teeth into it. You know what I mean? That's really where the problem lies. I think I'm going to give Yellowstone a shot. But who knows? You know what I mean? I th- like I thought Riverdale was going to be the show for me. I thought it was going to rip Twin Peaks off just enough that it would sink me in. And it didn't. Like, it's fine. But I just gave up. And I, I, I don't really care to catch up. I'm thinking, like, if I'm stoned enough, will just the scenic beauty and staggering charisma of Kevin Costner be enough to just really pull me in and lock me down because I hope so you know I feel like I'd be a big a big fan of the area (laughs) you know never made my way that far I'd like to so that's another factor I feel like sure let's when we get a little lay of the land huh Kevin what do you say and who does who doesn't love a good drama you know good family drama it's succession in the west (laughs) <laughs> Isn't that what they call it? Succession in the West? Could have been a better title. So we'll see. I think it's streaming on the Peacock. I think I saw an ad for that. If I did not see an ad, if there's like a thing where I got to pay something else for something else, then it's definitely out as an option because I'm just not on board with that but you know maybe that's what it's got to be because i gotta find something i just feel like i miss you know being on the way home being like oh i can't fucking wait like i can sit down eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or two kick my feet up and just you know go to the west (laughs) i wish i could just tame some horses and you know drill for oil and bitcoin or whatever the fuck goes on in wyoming now but so i i I don't know we're we're gonna give it a shot we'll get an update on that next week um so stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of my yellowstone odyssey I don't know. I hope I love it. Then, you know, there's an hour's worth of material, at least, for how I watched fucking seven seasons of Yellowstone in two days. It's going to be embarrassing. You're going to be like, didn't he just say he hasn't started it yet? And it's like, yep, you are correct. I did it just as quickly as you're thinking. Uh, and now, funny enough, a breaking news thing. I don't know how breaking this is necessarily, but. The Raiders have to cut another guy because he's doing some crazy shit. And it's just like, Jesus Christ. Somebody hire somebody to vet these people. What's going on? I guess he posted some video where he's threatening people. I didn't even bother to look into it. But Jesus Christ. What an organization in complete and utter shambles. But I mean, hey, they got more wins than the Bears still. Still better than the Bears. So what does that say? What does that say? Oh, boy. (sighs) You ever notice that just like all mail is useless? I don't know. I feel like that Seinfeld thing really nailed something. 
I've never gotten something in the mail and been like, oh, great. Like, if it's a thing I ordered that's different, and then it's like, oh, now I have a new item of some kind. I have new goods, but, like, what? when is anything important ever coming in the mail? It's like, oh, here's a letter. I just got a thing from American Express. They're like, we're removing subsection B7 from a card member agreement. And it's something about precious metals and coins being accepted. And it's like, what is this? I didn't know that this was in the card member agreement. I didn't agree to it on purpose. So take it away. Like, There's somebody out there who's like, can you believe it? They're taking away the precious metals option. I can't believe it. But, I mean, just don't send it at all. Just don't send it at all. And the thing is, you just can't get it in anyone's head. You know, these old people. I'm like, look, I don't I don't need to change the address. Because I don't want it either. If I wanted to put in... The, first of all, I'm not going to put in the effort to change the address. Because if I did, I would just put in the effort to get it stopped altogether. You understand? Like, I, I don't want it. I never wanted it. I didn't want it when I lived at your house I don't want it now that I live at my house either way I'm putting in the same amount of effort to not get it so isn't that clear you know what I mean (laughs) I don't know I feel like uh, making that statement pretty known I got to say, interjecting on myself, talking to myself amongst myself, that, you know, midway through this coffee with the creamer, I'm out. It's not good. There's too much. It lingers. There's aftertaste. Just give me the straight coffee. I want the juice. I want the action. Give me it all. And no, it's exactly it's exactly the way I thought I felt about it. It's a front, and it's in shambles. It's it's a complete contradiction of everything that should be. It's a bitter drink, and you can't mask it because no, now now I have this weird taste in my mouth, and it just doesn't add up. It's like I ate a bunch of pennies or something. <laughs> it just isn't right. It just isn't right. I don't know how you people do it with the milk and the cream and the sugar. It's like oh, drink the coffee. You know what I mean? I understand like a sweet tea, but I also understand an unsweet tea. It's hard to come by unsweet tea. It's pretty easy to come by unsweet coffee. You know, just fucking grow a pair of nuts, drink your fucking coffee how you're supposed to drink it. Or don't drink it. Drink something else. I I don't, I don't, I do not co-sign on that. Yuck. <laughs> we got a lot of fucking turmoil in the rap game yet again this week. We had our boy, our Lord and Savior, possibly, you know, with the election fraud, currently our president, Kanye West. <laughs> uh, he was on that Drink Champ show. I've only seen, you know, whenever that goes like viral, viral, I've seen some clips, but I've never really watched that. It's definitely the first full episode I've ever seen. And uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty good. He was wiling out, naming names, uh, almost instantly being debunked <laughs> by the people he called out, which I thought was fun. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it didn't seem, uh, he I, I don't know, it didn't seem all that serious, serious to where he was like, you know, ranting about things. It seemed more in jest and like in tune with the show and he was just trying to stir the pot. But I don't, I mean, who knows? You know, how can you ever really gauge it? But I thought it was a very entertaining watch nonetheless. Um, But that, that, that kind of goes backseat to your boy. Everybody's boy. But not, not anybody's boy now. They're all distancing their names from uh, Travis Scott. 
after hosting the fucking Astro World thing and people died. Multiple people died. 300 plus people were injured though. You never want a large number of people getting injured. If eight people died and like 35 got hurt, not a big story. The lawsuit's not going anywhere. He's getting away scot free, if you will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> but three hundo, pretty rough, pretty rough. And you were hearing the rumblings. The Playboy Cardi shows were getting crazy. Some of those were getting shut down. Now Astro World festival happens and uh people die see whenever people die it gets it's a whole nother level of crazy because it's supposed to just be a good fun time people hanging out being stupid and you know they're being stupid at the Astro World festival you're st- i mean if you love travis scott you're pretty stupid i just got i mean odds are you know what i mean he's not very good he's good at tricking you into thinking he's good Right, he was supposed to be this like prodigy. It's like, oh, he's the next whoever you want to say. People said Kanye. People said whatever. Turns out he's not that good of a producer or a rapper or really anything. He's not. He's not really good at anything. Um, he's good at McDonald's orders. Apparently, he's good enough for that. That he had to be put on a pedestal. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, he's he's good at corporate hip-hop but not anymore corporations hate it when people die from explicit reasons corporations love it when people die but they hate it when people die from something that was clearly they're doing so i don't know he's in deep water now i mean not really i don't think anything's gonna happen but uh he also apparently let out a pretty half-hearted apology, which is not great. I mean, he didn't. He doesn't give a fuck. It's hard. It's hard to put yourself in those shoes to be like, oh, well, if I was a mega star and I had my own festival, and 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 you know what I mean. If if my life was completely one thousand percent different. How would I feel? Yeah, you know, it's just like a tricky thing. But I mean, you should probably feel a lot worse than nothing. I would say Travis. Not even his name. That's what bothers me. It's like if you're gonna pick a stage name and you just pick some name, that's weird. I think that's, I don't like when actors really do it either, but at least that makes a little more sense. Like, you want to sound like a cool thing. But, like, if you're if you're a rapper, you get to pick whatever you want. You know what I mean? His name could be, like, Laser Jet. <laughs> Laser Jet 940 or whatever. You know what I mean? But he's just like, no, my name's Robert Googlia. You know, it's just like, it's, why would you pick that? My name used to be Alan Carrasco, but now I'm Robert Guglia. <laughs> like, what? Neither of those are good names, sir. And, like, I, I just looked. His real name is Jacques Webster. Pretty, That's kind of cool. You know? J-Rock? J-Rock Webb? Star? That's better, isn't it? (laughs) I'm a name guy. It was just like when I found out Mac Jones' real name. For those who don't already know, Mac Jones is called Mac because his middle name is McCorkle, which is like the greatest thing of all time. His name is Michael McCorkle Jones. And uh, I just want that out there. I want that recorded on my show that I've said McCorkle multiple times. And honestly, if I knew that that was Mac Jones' real name, I would have been way more high on Mac Jones. Maybe I would have been fine with the Bears taking Mac Jones. But regardless, we're we're big fans of McCorkle over here. So shout out Mac McCorkle Jones. Okay. <laughs> Back to Travi, your boy. The fucking Happy Meal Master. 
Uh, so I just watched the apology. So, I mean, he's getting a lot of slack. I can see why he'd be getting slack for it. Uh, he's, like, trying to do a thing where he seems, like, super devastated, but he clearly, like, doesn't want to be, like, crying on camera, which is also pretty just about, he, I mean, it, it's not handled well, but he just keeps, like, rubbing his head, and it's kind of like he's tired and doesn't want to be doing it, but it, it, it's clear that he's trying to be, like, oh, like, I'm just such a, I'm just such a wreck right now, you know, I'm such a mess. I just can't keep it together, dude. I can't stop rubbing my head. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, it's rough. I mean, he's definitely feeling a lot. It's hard to say that there's any, like, remorse or anything there. <laughs> I mean, who am I to say? But it certainly just kind of comes off as um, his pockets are hurting. And and uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, boy, this show really has just been taking a dark turn. I've just chosen the subject matter to be completely tragic based for two weeks in a row now. So that's fun. Um, I don't know. I keep reading all this shit about the fucking infrastructure bill again. It's like, did you pass it or did you not pass it? Because now it's been passed for like the 25th time. But they're going to then in two weeks, I'm going to see something about them wanting to pass it. So I, 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 I'm furious with that. I'm sick of that. I've been saying that and it still just keeps happening. As far as I know, no bill has ever been passed in the history of time. Because what can you believe anymore? You know what I mean? Everybody just keeps saying something else. Never stops. Doing my doing my scrolling. Nothing nothing really outrageous is happening today, which is uh it's just good. It's about time. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm very happy with my betting day yesterday. I fucking the the biggest the easiest lock of all time was the Patriots minus three and a half and the under. It was set to forty two. The Panthers can't fucking score. They have not been able to score in weeks. And the Patriots keep the score low. Who they put? They put it on against the Jets. That's different. The Panthers aren't the Jets, but the Panthers are terrible. So, I mean, I don't know. I, th- I feel like it should have just been uh, pretty apparent at that point. The Patriots own Sam Darnold. I mean, come on. I didn't know three picks necessarily, but they were getting at least one. I, kn- I had a pretty strong feeling there was going to be no touchdown. I thought that game was going to be like, you know, 17 to 10 or something, you know, something in that realm. And it was 24 to 6. Great. Great. I I parlayed it with a bunch of stuff and I parlayed it into some losing bets. I didn't do it enough. I should have put I should have spread it with like every single bet I did. I should have threw that on there and that's a lesson for next time, but there probably isn't going to be a game that's as much of a lock again for the rest of the season knowing me. So lesson learned though. I'm I'm really getting I'm getting better at figuring this shit out. I'm already up 40 bucks on the week, which is great because I'm only putting 100 bucks in, so pretty solid percentages. But that could go up even further if the Bears cover. They just cover. That's all I need them to do is cover. And if they cover and it's the under, which I think it almost certainly will be, it's set to like 52 and a half tonight. I don't see any way Bears Steelers gets that high unless the Steelers put up 35. You know, and then maybe we could have 17 or whatever to get us over there. But it just seems very improbable. It seems like the easiest, like, I think the, if the Steelers win like 19 to 16, so be it. You know, what do the Bears have to play for anyway? Let's get a high draft pick, nice old lineman. You know, and then maybe Tevin Jenkins will come back. Maybe Larry Borum will actually end up being a decent player with, like, other people on the line around him. They said he played well against the 49ers in general anyway. Um, so, you know, I, I don't mind the loss, but let's cover the spread, and then we'll be good. Like, I knew the fucking Packers, Packers Chiefs. Easy one. Plus seven? They'll be within seven. What was the score? 13-7. to seven. 
Six point game. Easy. But I parlayed it with the Bears. The Bears don't cover. That's the problem. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to fucking believe with that team. They're a complete mess. They are a complete mess. Chargers was an easy one, too. There was no way the Chargers were going to lose. It was only one and a half. There, there were some really just eat them up easy bets to place. And I, I'm not, I don't really second guess. I second guess when the games are going on. I'm like, why the fuck would I do this? You know, who doesn't do that? But uh, there were really just some gimmies this week. So, that's great. I don't know. It's weird doing this short format thing because now I know I'm already about to wrap up. It feels like, fuck, I should be keep going forever. But that's not the case. It's not what we're doing anymore for now. Who knows? You know, this whole thing's fluid. I haven't tried anything new in a while. So, this is what we're doing. Been hearing great things about the early screenings of Licorice Pizza. Cannot fucking wait. To see that, the new PTA movie, I don't know if that's going to get a limited Chicago release or not. If I'm going to have to wait till fucking Christmas to see it, which would be tragic. Uh, But who knows? Uh, Still no updates on that front, so that's very sad. And uh, what else is going on? Probably not much. (laughs) I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if the Yellowstone stuff works out. I'm going to try to do that this week. See if we can get into that. Maybe I'll catch up on the Wu-Tang show too. I don't know if there's eyes on the Wu-Tang show though. Any, any, anybody have ever asked about it? It hasn't even heard of it. And it's already in, you know, the second season's like over by now. Nobody knew about it when it first came on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that every show has its own audience. You know? Like, Succession's one of the few big shows that there is, period, that people watch. I guess Yellowstone is becoming one of the other ones. So maybe I'll really enjoy it, getting into that little crowd. Calling myself a yellow boy or a yellow belly. What what are they called? You called a yellow belly? If If you're a big fan of that show. I don't know. I just got to I got to get my sea legs back. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I just keep saying I don't know. If I just say I don't know into the microphone for an hour straight, does that constitute as a podcast? Stick around and find out cuz I just may. But hey, I mean the Bears, you know, they officially I can't I can't I can't not talk and think about them at all times. Uh, they officially activated David Montgomery off of injured reserve, so you know what I mean? We have we have good running backs, and they're able to actually get past the line of scrimmage, which means the offensive line can at least run block somewhat a little bit. Because we've definitely had seasons where it's fucking two yards per carry, and it is just brutal to watch. At least we're getting a push in one direction. So, uh, I mean, keep fucking run for 200 yards on the Steelers. At least I'm just sick of getting embarrassed. I'm just sick of being nationally embarrassed. So if we can just get by and, like, look awful, you know, the offense is terrible. They're last in the league, so no matter what, like, they're not going to be good. But if we can just, like, be in the game and not be fucking joke joke, that's all I can really ask for. So we'll see. That was the last good piece of news I just scrolled through right at the end. Uh, So that's going to do it for this short-form weird episode. I don't really know. If this went well or not, let me know what you think. Rate, review, subscribe to this show. Uh, Check out the links below. We got merch, rfet.bigcartel.com. There is music, multiplex, Wolf X. That's solo and band. We got a lot of good stuff. New album, Google, just came out for multiplex. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll be doing a full hour next week. I don't know. Maybe I'll bank 30 minute ones i don't really know what the plan's gonna be uh but we're sticking with weekly we just took that hiatus for halloween so check back in pass the word around we got to get these numbers back up because i don't really know what the fuck uh has been going on with that but that's okay so that's gonna conclude this m- first ever mini sode 
edition of Requiem for a Tuesday. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Never forget, I are fat, you are fat, we are fat. Calculator!